what's happening everybody Scott coming at you from the tackle shop here at saltwater scale models and yes another almost completed build um, this is the Foos 67 Dodge Coronet really uh, really enjoying this kit um, it's going going pretty nicely uh, just fun to put together uh, so let's let's get started um, we'll start with the interior tub sorry about the lights guys it's pretty early here in the morning well not that early but quarter to ten um, so I've got some light coming in through the screen but uh, I'll do the best I can so all right well um, I use the body colors which I'll show you in a bit it's a uh, it's a rose a rose uh, rose copper and black uh, uh, doors oops sorry the doors uh, the same I just touched up the door handles in a couple spots with uh, with the Molotow uh, you can see on the steering wheel there I just noticed somehow I got a got some gunk on there so I'm gonna have to clean that off uh, the dash uh, I painted black um, and then I realized that the the decals were also black so uh, there was no point in using those so I just used the chrome pen to try to try to get a little bit of detail up there but um, all in all uh, turned out really well um, nice and clean good line so I'm happy with that let's move that out of the way um, the uh, the chassis. Um, I'll show you the bottom here. Uh, nothing too outrageous. I tried to do the best I could uh, as far as Dodge Engine Red, which it asked for. Uh, as you can see, the drive shaft is not in. It fell out. I used uh, Model Master glue instead of my normal super glue, and uh, uh, it fell out. So I'm gonna have to have to put that back in. Uh, the engine, like I said, is pretty straight ahead, just box stock. Uh, now the tires are uh, Pegasus, Pegasus wheels and tires. They are the daggers, and I put in the uh, disc brakes with the calipers, painted the calipers black. Um, I did have a few issues. Uh, obviously, you know, I uh, I drilled holes in the Pegasus tires to get them to fit on the pegs, and then realized, uh, as I pretty much expected they would be, um, they stuck out too far for the body. So what I did is I cut the pegs off the uh, front suspension the differential and just glued them right to the sides so they just fit but um, I th they're really cool looking tires so I think uh, I think in the long run um, w once it's set up it's gonna look really nice so there's that all right let's uh, let's take a look at the at the body here the body is done. I just put the glass in. Um, there's a little smudge on that one. I'm gonna have to clean out. But the body is done in rose copper and antique copper, and then obviously uh, uh, the obligatory bare metal foil. Um, so it's got a nice, nice shine to it. Uh, a little bit of warble in the in the trunk area, but um, I'm not gonna sweat it, man. I'm just I was worried about just burning through it when I uh, when I wet sanded it. So. Here's a look at that. Spin it around a bit. Bare metal foil, obviously, around all the wah! window trim. So she turned out nice so far. So I just wanted to do a quick uh, sort of intro and update before I did my final assembly. This should probably be done uh, maybe by the end of the day today, probably tomorrow. Um, but I just wanted to uh, just wanted to do a video before I got into final assembly. I will be bringing this. Um, you know, it's, it's not spectacular, but um, I like it. Turned out well uh, to, to Atlanta. I'm looking forward to seeing all you guys. Um, what else? Oh, I was going to do a, I mentioned I was going to do a, a review of the El Camino, the 59 El Camino. But um, HPI guys, I think it's HPI guys workshop has got an absolutely wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, review. So if you're interested in seeing uh, a review on that kit, go check him out. Uh, I guess that's about it, guys. Uh, today is Friday. I will see you all, hopefully, as many of you as possible in uh, in uh, in Atlanta. All right, guys. Peace, love, and happiness. See ya.